G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now I have been using the new Outlook desktop experience for a little over a week now, exclusively coming from the old desktop experience and then having um, spending a week or so or more in the PWA version of uh, Microsoft Outlook and then enabled the new Outlook experience. And I just wanted to share with you um, one of the great integration points. And I think this is going to sway a lot of people and really, uh, allow people to improve their flow of how they uh, track their emails and keep on top of things. And that's the integration uh, with, from Outlook into Microsoft To Do. And also the, the board view in, in the calendar uh, portion of your Outlook, the, the, the new Outlook desktop experience. So we're just gonna walk through and have a look at that type, that integration what the functionality is and how you could potentially uh, use this as well. So we can see here that I'm in the new Outlook desktop uh, application experience. It does look very, very, very similar to the PWA version and the online version of Outlook. Um, and if you have been using that, then you probably already know about or have seen, or maybe you haven't seen, the integration with Microsoft To Do. Now, what I've actually done here, and this is something uh, that I use quite regularly as well, is the quick steps in Outlook. So you can see here when I select on an email, I've got this drop down here, uh, and these are my quick steps. So I've got two in uh, configured in this client here. I've got create a task and also snooze until tomorrow. Now, what that allows me to do is just select an email, click uh, quickly, just click a button, and then it adds it automatically to the task list in to do all right you can see that fly out from the right hand side so I can keep going down here and I can uh, continually add things to Microsoft to do uh, in that default task list now what happens here is that if I change the list so for example if I go to in tray you can see I've only got two here so what that then does is depending on the list that I have selected uh, in this panel will determine what list when I I use that quick step what list that that email goes on to so you can see here I've got in tray so if I continually go down here create tasks it actually adds it to that particular list now one of the other things that we can do without leaving the application here is we can right click these tasks and you'll see that we've got the option to add to board all right now I'll link to uh, the video that I have already done about uh, boards in Outlook so that will be in the comment um, in the description below it'll be the first link there and you can have a look at uh, that video as well but what we can do is quickly right click and we can add that individual task to our board view in Outlook so if I now click on my calendar um, you will notice that I've got I've already got the board view open here we can drag and drag these widgets around on our board and what boards in Outlook do is really allow you to uh, bring everything that you need and personalize uh, and manage things the way that you want uh, on your particular board we can right click we can add other different uh, components or widgets or um, maybe we could even call them Outlook web parts into all or onto our board and you can see that we can add an entire task list so when I click task list it actually adds our Microsoft to do um, task list or instance of that task list on our board and you'll see here that we can select which list is actually displayed so I might want to have my in tray list selected there but then I could have another list all right so I might have one for what things that I'm waiting for so now that I've, I've got two instances now of my Microsoft to do so I've got two lists I've got in train I've got waiting for and I've got an individual task right so up the top here is that task that I added to my board from um, from uh, from the email all right so if I jump back onto my mail and then I can see here that I've got my in tray. Let's just change that back over to tasks. And then I might want to add this individual task to the board, all right? So I'll, I'll select everything and then I'll jump back onto, onto the calendar and that will automatically open up into the board view. And now I've got these two individual tasks. Now what you'll also see is that we can add our steps into these tasks. So let's say we've got uh, this task that is made up of multiple steps. So we could add step one, step two, step 
three, et cetera, and continually go down um, and, and outline our steps. Now, what that does is obviously that automatically syncs, right? So if I now open up Microsoft to do, and then I go to that was on our that was on the task list. So if I jump into tasks and I look at that individual task, which is project work for system deployment. So let's have a look at um, this one here. Um, let me just refresh. And what we'll see is that we should have our steps. So let's just make sure that we've got the right one here. This is the one up here. So we've got step one, step two, step three um, as our, as our uh, steps for this particular uh, item. So when we tick this off, our, we get our nice little ding and you can see on the, on the background here that that task automatically syncs and gets completed on our board as well. All right, so if we jump back into the uh, email, um, so that integration between Microsoft To Do and Outlook, being able to flag or just drag and drop uh, emails, or even as I've done here, create a quick step, just so it's a nice one click button. Now you can also use in our quick steps, if I go to manage quick steps here, and we can actually have a shortcut as well, all right? So if we wanted to create um, create a shortcut um, for a, a key combination, then we could do that as well. So you can see on my snooze until tomorrow one, I've got control shift five. So we could create a, uh, a keyboard shortcut to allow us to, to uh, not even have to click a button. So we could just use our keyboard if we needed to as well. So there's a little insight. Uh, I've been using the new Outlook desktop experience for some time now, um, and I'm really enjoying our, and I have uh, noticed that that has, the integration with Todo uh, has really increased and improved my workflow and help me keep on top of things that I need to get done out of my inbox. So I hope that brings you some value today. If you haven't had a look uh, at the new Outlook desktop experience, I encourage you to do that. If not, have a look at uh, installing Outlook as a PWA and using that version of Outlook as well. That does give you the same functionality uh, just in the, the progressive web app format. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next episode.